Hey, I'm Josh. Whether you just downloaded Bitwarden or you're considering using it, this guide is for you. I'll walk you through everything any beginner or advanced user needs to know from setups to features to best practices to help you securely manage your passwords with ease. So let's get this Bitwarden tutorial rolling. As usual, registration and installation are the first things you'll need to do. And the easiest way to start using Bitwarden is through its web app. Simply visit vault.bitwarden.com and sign up with your email name and master password. Then use those credentials for logging in. That said, the web app feels a bit outdated with a basic interface and several drop-down menus that are not the most convenient. So next in this Bitwarden guide, let's check out the desktop app. Installation is straightforward. Just go to the download section on their website, pick your operating system, download, and then install. Nothing out of the ordinary. Upon launching, you'll find a minimalist interface with a sidebar organizing your saved data. However, the drop-down menus can still be a bit confusing when looking for specific features. Your experience may vary depending on the device you're using, though. While desktop apps are quite similar across platforms, the mobile versions have some differences. There is also a Bitwarden extension available for all major browsers, and then even some lesser known ones like DuckDuckGo. You can get any of them at your browser's extension store or on the downloads page again. If you're new to password managers, however, I'd recommend starting with the desktop or mobile app for a smoother experience. Now that the app is set up, let me show you how to use Bitwarden and its features. You can find Bitwarden's password generator in the drop-down menu. It's mostly pretty standard, but has two unique features. It can generate usernames and create passwords up to 128 characters long. While this sounds great, to be honest, it's overkill since most websites don't require or even support such lengthy passwords. Beyond saving passwords, Bitwarden also lets you store secure notes. To do this, simply click the designated option and choose your note type. For example, let's save the birthdays of my colleagues. Now, every password should have autofill for your convenience. Bitwarden does have it, but there are some problems with it, security-related ones. Research by data intelligence company Flashpoint revealed that Bitwarden's autofill feature could expose your credentials to theft through malicious iframes, even on trusted websites. But that's not the only concern. According to the report, Bitwarden had been aware of this vulnerability for years, but never fully addressed the root cause. While Bitwarden now claims to have fixed the issue, the decision on whether to use the autofill is ultimately up to you. The good news is that autofill is disabled by default, so if you're unsure about its security, you can simply leave it off. And to be honest, I'd recommend leaving it that way. But a password manager without a safe autofill leaves a lot to be desired. So if you want one with complete security and a fully functional autofill, I've got you covered with a few recommendations. You can find them through the links in the description. Alternatively, you can scan this QR code and get the best and latest NordPass deal. If autofill isn't that big of a deal for you, let's continue on with my Bitwarden tutorial for beginners. Next, I'll show you how to share your passwords. Now, even standard Bitwarden password sharing is a bit tricky and also only available with Bitwarden Premium. A simpler alternative is Bitwarden Send, which allows the encrypted sharing of text or files. You'll find it on the left side menu. Just click it, choose text or file, and send a secure link. The recipient doesn't need Bitwarden installed. However, the free encrypted storage limit is just one gigabyte, with extra storage available for $4 per additional gigabyte per month. Premium users also get access to the data breach report located in the web vault. You can check if any of your emails have been involved in security breaches. Now, if you accidentally lose your master password, Bitwarden's emergency access feature can help. Under the Settings tab, you can assign an emergency contact with a specified access level. They will need a Bitwarden account. However, a premium subscription is not required in this case. Bitwarden also supports passkeys, as any modern best password manager should. Passkeys can replace passwords for supported websites. If you've saved login details for a site that has a passkeys functionality, setting them up is easy. For example, on Shopify, click the passkeys icon, go to Manage Account, then Security, and select Create Passkey. After confirming your password, a passkey will be generated. The next time you log in, simply select the passkey instead of entering credentials manually. And that's about it for the features. But I have to cover the downsides of Bitwarden 2, as there are a few you need to know about. 
Besides Bitwarden Autofill, another downside is the lack of automatic backups, which means you'll need to manually export your vault if you want extra peace of mind in case of a breach or system failure. Another limitation is that the desktop apps offer fewer features when compared to the web app, making the experience less than optimal on some devices. Additionally, Bitwarden's user interface, especially in the web app, can be confusing and not very user-friendly, which may cause frustration when navigating its features. If you're looking for a free password manager, Bitwarden is a decent choice, and its premium plan remains an affordable option. That said, considering the downsides of Bitwarden, there are better options with more user-friendly UIs and way more features. So to be honest, I don't think I can recommend Bitwarden for beginners. With that in mind, just want to remind you that you can find my best Bitwarden alternatives in the description where you'll also get them at a solid discount. That's all in this Bitwarden tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you soon.